Hi YouTube and this is JTrain997 and I'm back this time with my review of G.I. Joe The Rise of Cobra Walmart exclusive The Surveillance Port. Now this is the technically the third of four sets from Walmart which are brand spanking new just found mine today did get all four and you will be seeing a review of all four. Each set comes with of course a station or something like that and two figures. Now I'm very excited for these because it's really a great buy um, not only that, but this is the first time we've gotten a Televiper, which is my favorite Cobra Grunt. Um, of course, it's just a repainted one from the 25th anniversary line, but still, that's the first Televiper we've gotten in the Rise of Cobra line. Okay, the surveillance port, of course, is the giant blue building you see in the packaging. You get a Mars Trooper, which is a... Um, here lately, it's getting used more often, but it's a rather underused mold currently. I think there's one in the Toys R Us exclusive pack and the Kmart exclusive pack. Of course, your Televiper, which is a completely new paint job. It comes with exclusive Irish Chicago tattoos and stickers. Down here, you have both their file cards. Um, I'm going to run over them since these are both new figures for me. Mars Industries Troopers provide security for Mars Industries, the corporation that develops advanced weapons and is owned by James McCullen. This is quasi-military force is highly trained in combat tactics and equipped with advanced weapons and gear. Preferred weapon, Industry D-57A, Extreme Environment Tactical Rifle. The Televipers file card says, Televipers are the communication gurus of Cobra forces. Versed in all conveyance tech, from SATCOM to VHF, these specialists relay information and conduct ultra-sensitive surveillance and espionage. Preferred weapon, Mars Industries D-57A, Extreme Environment Tactical Rifle. Okay, over here you have, of course, your list of how to use a temporary tattoo. And down here is something that's really interesting. If you look in the back of the box, you'll see there's kind of like a fence detail. The box actually expands into a playset. Well, not necessarily a playset, but like a little image, image for you to put your um, Rise of Cobra base on. That is a fantastic idea. Not only are we getting the toys, they've turned the box into a playset. So, of course, onto the back of the packaging. Yet another thing I love about this, the way the back is, I don't know what it is about it, but this is so very retro in a good way. Um, I love just the look of this packaging. Up here you have three or four and it shows how the diorama looks when it's done. It says, the surveillance part is the standard cover infiltration device. It's portable and inconspicuous, perfect for monitoring G.I. Joe battle tactics from a safe distance. Equipped with a high-tech sensors to reveal any and all target weaknesses, the surveillance port finds the perfect soft spot for cover to sink its fangs into. Of course, Televiper, the guns, your Mars Trooper. So, to say I'm excited for this bad boy would be very, very much of an understatement. Let's pull them out of packaging. Almost forgot, over here on the side you have some very nice box art of the Mars Trooper and the Televiper in the battle station, um, surveillance station. Really love that. Of course, over here on the side you have a picture of the rest of them. So, taking these out of the box because they do want you to be very careful about the diorama. Of course, you pull this out, boom, and here you have your stickers and your bases. This whole area comes out, and you pull this out, which is your Cobra Battle Station. Put it up here, or I mean Surveillance Station. And of course now you just have your empty box. Nothing very special about that. So give me one second. Okay, and now I've removed the um, outer box. Of course now you fold these out. Of course this is plastic in. The bottom two fold out, connecting here and here. As you can see, let me pick this up really quick. That is a very decent sized display. That light's going to glare. You can see there's actually some really nice detail in there. But I have to um, battle with my immortal enemy, these little plastic straps again, and get my figures undone, so give me one second to do that. And first I'm going to talk about the Televiper and the Mars Trooper. I'm um, starting mainly with the Televiper because I'm most excited for him. Now, I have the Televiper some... There was a gun in here. I don't know who it's supposed to go with. But I have it crammed down in here, and it's unnecessarily hard to get this gun to go in. Um, it just gets progressively more irritating over time. Um, maybe with the gun in there, it'll stretch out a little bit, and it'll be easier to get his accessories in, but that was really frustrating. His other accessory, which is obviously for him, is his laptop. Now, it's a standard laptop with the plug in, but it's black, has a Cobra logo, and on the inside, there's actually a sticker detail with some little um, scannings, which is um, just a stroke of brilliance. That's 
somebody actually put a sticker on that thing so it's not just the regular laptop. I love that. So, on to the Televipers. Get a quick 360 of this guy. Um, of course, new paint job. It, Televipers are usually kind of a blue and purple mix, and this is the first time they've ever been black and red. I'm going to get a quick scan of his head. As you can see that. So, pulling him off the face. Um, his articulation, it's a little limited at the shoulders for um, some of that he has, he's just a little tight in the vest. But um, once you've got it worked around, they move just fine. Um, shoulder joint, wrist joint, um, head's a little bit hindered because of the headgear he's wearing, but it moves just fine once you've worked it around. Standard articulation overall. I really like the Televiper. I would even be up for this being reissued as a single figure with the um, laptop and more accessories. Um, I definitely like this guy. So I'm going to push him off to the side here and talk about the Mars Trooper. Now, like I said, um, a few of these have been reissued, but his helmet does come off his head, as you can see there. Um, his rifle is unnecessarily large as well, but it, like you've seen, it does fit in his hand standardly. Um, as far as the handgun, it actually fits in here pretty well, so maybe it was made for the Marsh Trooper instead. Still a little bulky. I don't know what the deal is with his pistol, but it's unreasonably large for most Rise of Cobra figures, I think. Or maybe it's just these guys' hands, I don't know. Okay, but getting a quick 360 of the guy. Let's get his helmet back on him for the rest of the review. Okay, pulling him off the base. His arm um, articulation, once again, it's a little bit stiff, but in the arm movement, but everywhere else it's actually pretty smooth. Um, he has the full range of articulation, and it's a very solid figure. Of course, they have the um, standard Rise of Cobra bases. So, those are the figures. Let's talk about the battle station. And here is the surveillance port out of the packaging. Let's pick that up, get a quick look at it. As you can see, there, um, it has all the stickers fully applied. As you can see, and there's actually some really nice detail. There's lots of pegs for your figures to stand on. Of course, um, setting this down really quickly. The satellite, the rifles, everything can be picked up, moved, placed differently. And um, if you want to switch the satellite out for where the gun is, um, this is a really, really good looking set. Um, you can see here, as compared to a figure in front of it, it's actually pretty big. Um, satellite dish can of course rotate. So, let's get these figures placed on here a little more strategically. And now I have the Televiper and the Mars Trooper on their um, surveillance port with the diorama in the background. Um, this diorama, as you can see, doesn't stay together all that well unless it's propped against a wall, even with its connections. Um, I think it would have been a good idea to have all four connect into an even bigger diorama, but unfortunately they're all their same thing. As you can kind of see, it's supposed to be like an exploding warehouse in the background. So onto the surveillance port with the guys on it. As you can see here, I've got them both in their foot pegs. There's also a little window they can peer out, I guess, if you have them crouched just right. I'm pretty sure this is a repaint of an, just an original battle station. Um, I'm not 100% on that, but I'm pretty sure it is. Of course, just like all Walmart exclusives, including the two-pass, it comes with a G.I. Joe sticker, a Cobra sticker, and a Ninja Clan tattoo. Also, you get the... Um, you get the sticker instructions, but what's really interesting is you get a list of pointed everything, and it tells you exactly what it does in the fictional realm, um, from a step pad to remote adjustable nitrogen level struts, low interface antenna, elliptical long range air search radar. Really interesting. I like the fact they did that. Just really immerses you in the experience, at least as far as I'm concerned. And you get your own how to assemble in case you tore it off the back, I guess. So, on to one of the best things about this set. It's only 15 bucks. 15 bucks, and now considering the fact that Walmart has now lowered the price of Rise of Cobra figures to 5 bucks a piece, for two brand new, well not brand new, two reused molds that we haven't seen a lot in the Rise of Cobra line, a great place, a great background, great accessories, I absolutely think this is a steal. Now it's a little hard to find right now, but they are showing up a little bit more and more. Um, the only problem I had at all with this is that their guns were a little oversized, I think, which um, these guns have an issue with other Rise of Cobra figures, so it may be their hands. Either way, it's a very minuscule problem. I think that everyone who's a Rise of Cobra fan should rush out and pick up these sets. And this is JTrain997 saying, this set gets a 9.5 out of 10, and I'll see you soon, YouTube.